Madam Speaker, I sincerely thank you for the opportunity to, to speak. Firstly, I would like to congratulate you for your election as the Speaker of the Zambia National Assembly. And secondly, for the fact that you are the first female speaker to be elected to this house since independence. I'd like to also congratulate your deputies, first and second. Let me start by thanking God, indeed, for giving me life, which is the reason I can stand here today and say what I'm going to say. Amen. President Edgar Chagwalungu, I thank you for everything that you are and also for giving me an opportunity to contest Tunte in 2016 and 2021. It's because of that. Uh, the people of Lunte yet again expressed unequivocally that I was best suited to continue with the developmental agenda of our constituency. All the party leaders and the party members who sacrificed so much to get the job done, I would like to thank you. Madam Speaker, having acknowledged all those who tendered support to me, allow me to spend one minute of my time in memory of Jackson Kungo and all those who died on account of political violence. May the soul of Jackson Kungo and all those who died because of political violence rest in eternal peace. I pray that never again should any Zambia lose his or her life on account of political violence. Madam Speaker, Lunte is beauty here where we are, two people have been elected in that constituency, sitting here today. When you look around, Lunte from the west to the east, from the north to the south, what you see is beauty. It's the expectation of the people of Lunte that this government, the UPND government, will continue to beautify Lunte even further. Madam Speaker, elections are now over. Some people won, others lost. The election gave me two sides of the story. One side I am very proud of, and another side that I detest to the core of my conscience. Let me share with you, Madam Speaker, the sides of this election, which I completely detest. Number one, death of Jackson Kungo and everybody who lost their lives during this election. Madam Speaker, I feel ashamed that close to three score years after independence, as a nation we can still lose people on account of political violence. We need to forge a Zambia where no one is allowed to lose their life as a result of political violence. When UPND sat on this side of the house, I criticized them for having been the manufacturers of political violence in the, Mufum, in the Mufumbwe election, Mufumbwe bloodbath, and of course, in the Mapatizia formula. I criticize them. Madam Speaker, today the UPND are on your right. They have a responsibility to stop their creation, political violence. 
If they do so, we will never experience another death in this arena. Let me share with you the second issue that I completely detested in this election. The booing of His Excellency President at Hero Stadium. The sixth president was booed by victors. Whereas I thought there is honor in victory. What we saw or what I saw was dishonor. And I want to put it to the UPND that I'm still very, very unhappy that no leader took the opportunity, whether at the inauguration ceremony or at another platform to condemn the booing of His Excellency President. That shouldn't have happened. <laughs> Having said so, Madam Speaker, allow me now to share with you one or two issues that I'm very proud of in this past election. I am very proud of the Zambian people who stood in long queues to vote for the leaders of their choice. Those people mean well for this country. And I want to congratulate you, the Zambian people, for not circumventing your civic duty to bring in the leaders of your choice. That is how it should be. All of us here are here because we won. And I am cognizant of the fact that so many people lost. But yes, you decided. This is why today we have a president, a vice president, members of parliament, and all other elected leaders. Because of you, we should never let you down. Because of your commitment and dedication to your country, we, the leaders, must emulate you, the people of Zambia, for doing what you did on 12 August. You are really the darling uh, of my soul. Madam Speaker, I'm also very proud of the peaceful handover of power by His Excellency President Edgar Chagwalungu to His Excellency Hakainde Ichilema. President Lungu has forged a legacy, a lasting legacy, to be admired by many and for many years to come. And I think that future governments, starting with UPNG, must emulate President Lungu when their time to transition comes, which may be soon. Madam Speaker, it now remains for me to simply say that we need to forge a Zambia where all Zambians count. And the people of Lunte can count on me, can count on me to stand with them as we forge a Lunte where all people must count. Thank you very much. Allow me to tend to comment on the motion on the thanks to the presidential speech. Madam Speaker, from the outset, I would like to say I support the motion. And in supporting the motion, I have some comments to make. First, I wish the UPND success in this first mandate. Because if UPND succeeds, my three children, Muvanga, Tanda, and Luvuto, will have a better future. From that end, I will support UPND as they make their programs. If I believe those programs are beneficial, to the Zambian people. If I don't, I will criticize those programs here on the floor of the house and at whatever platform that will be available to me. Madam Speaker, on page eight of the President's speech, he said, and I quote, the Zambian people voted for change. The Zambian people voted for change. Indeed, removing President Ed Galungu and putting President Akainde Ichilema is change. So there's no, there's no brainer. I mean, absolutely no brainer. Removing PF and putting UPND is change. Nobody can argue with that. But what type of change is it when you consider it in detail? 
I have observed from the time His Excellency Akainde Chilema assumed office from the Heroes Stadium that some of the changes reflect the lowest standards that have been created in our country. For example, there were two people, Madam Speaker, two people who were fighting to walk the president to the guard of honor. One was dressed officially, ceremonially. The other one was a fella totally unknown, in no regalia whatsoever. And, and, and the gentleman who was ceremonially dressed was elbowed out. We saw, we saw the president being walked. But, but this, is, this is a change where we are saying we are coming from lawlessness to the rule of law. So I was very surprised and I'm still shocked that a thing like that, that sank that ceremony to the lowest of all time. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, it was the president sat there where you are sitting but on the throne. And you were very close with him. You agree with me that when the president walked here and came and sat there, it was very bad because the president had no speech. His aide de camp had no speech. The president began to converse with the clerk. He rose from the throne and began to converse with the clerk. And the fellow appeared from nowhere with a black folder. And handed, yeah, handed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Madam Speaker, and this fellow handed the president a black folder. Uh, and you see, I, I, I was very attentive. I sat very close, and I'm sure you saw that. The president is not to blame because the president did not see that fellow. He just got it from behind and began to deliver this speech. That is a very bad change. It lowered the decorum of this house. It must not be allowed. It must not be allowed. Madam Speaker, the president, while speaking to us on the throne, in that position where you are, he said, we need to change the way things are done here. Where did the president draw the authority to begin to tell us to change the way things are done here? Where? The president has got no authority to change the way things are done in this chamber. That was a bad change. Very bad change. Madam Speaker, let me, let me, let, let, let me be more clear. Let me be more clear. The changes which will create a Zambia we want must be supported. The changes which will sink this country to the lowest should be condemned. And this is what ought to be expected from us on this side of the house. We will support good programs. Bad ones, no. Bad ones will be criticized and will not be supported. Madam Speaker, with these very few words, I support the motion on the floor. I thank you.